Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Shockley. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and we just got back from seeing Toy Story 4. It was a great movie. It wasn't what I expected. They changed the storyline quite a bit. I won't, you know, do, a, I won't share what the details are, but it was a really good movie. We really enjoyed it. Um, as, as most of you saw on my Instagram account, my dresser finally arrived um, Saturday morning and there's such a huge, huge difference between the old dresser that we had and the new dresser. It sits up higher, there's more storage compartments, it's prettier, it looks more feminine, and I just love it. I wasn't sure if my husband was going to approve of it because um, he's very masculine, but he said it's fine and he, he likes it and he's glad to see that I love it. So I'm so excited about my new dresser. Um, so that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to give a small tour of my new dresser and all the compartments and everything that I have stored in it. So I'm going to take you guys up to our master bedroom. So here we are in the master bedroom and this is my new dresser. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. They're pretty. <laughs> All right, as I walk slowly to him, sorry, my little kid right now. My lilies look so beautiful on it. I just love all the drawers, the feet. It's great. So we'll start here on the side. Down here is one of my compartments for necklaces. And this side is designated for pearls. And I have lots of pearls, <laughs> lots of pearls. So that's great. It's one side. This drawer here, please don't judge me, but <laughs> I stock up on bath and body works creams. And most of us know that right now the semi-annual sale is going on. So all of the retired fragr fragrances are mm, about $3. So. These are my favorites so far. I love the Cherry Blossom, the original. I don't like the Japanese Cherry Blossom, not my thing. I do like the new Wild Berry Cream. Smells very light. I bought this yesterday, the Wild Berry Chamomile Body Cream. It's great, so I've got a few of those, as you can see. A few Cherry Blossoms, and I do like the Wild Honeysuckle. And their creams cover so well, and they're great. I've got my deodorant. Um, this is my Amazing Grace Body Whip. It is so great. I love it on my feet. This is my Lavender Healing Cream from my Herb Lady. And she's actually back now, so I need to go see her at the market. These are from the Pure Simpity, Sim, Simplicity line from Bath & Body Works. I don't think they carry it anymore. It came and went very quickly. So this is where I'll be keeping my body toiletries this top drawer here is for my unmentionables which we will not show those are private <laughs> this drawer here I've decided to use it as a jewelry drawer so I have all my bracelets here that I wear I've got um, all my really expensive jewelry in here Lauren's jewelry my saltwater pearls from Von Mar my pearls from my mother-in-law um, that's a box for my Chanel brooches. It's empty right now. My brooches are up top here. These are just extra necklaces that I have that, honestly, I haven't worn in a while. Like this one, I'm still pondering if I should drop it off at Dress for Success. I don't know. It's very pretty. I, got, I bought it from Von Mar years ago. And this is the bracelet that my husband got me for Christmas two years ago. Sorry. But, yeah, my pink and purple and white wrist pearl bracelet how about that so that's what that drawer is being used for this drawer here is um other important jewelry this is where i will keep my wedding set which i'm wearing you guys this is the first ring that my husband got me when we got engaged 16 years ago so this was the first ring and i wore for 10 years it's a little but it was a 
you know, it was our start is our first time. So we were, you know, how it is when you get married, you're poor. <laughs> so that's how it goes. These are a lot of my vintage earrings, all my pearl earrings, my cocktail rings. So yeah, that's their section. This is where I'm keeping all the perfumes that I'm not wearing right now. Some of them are quite musky and they're for the winter. Extra hand lotions that I have, extra Kate Spade jewelry, um, pouches. Slide that back. These are my samples from Antica Pharmacista. I'm, I'm, I know I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. But these are the samples, and I was going to talk about those on the blog. Here's a sample box from Aaron Lauder, those perfumes, and my Joan Malone roses. Which, honestly, unfortunately, I don't like it on me. <laughs> it smells pretty bad. Um, down here is where my bras are, my nightgowns. Um, in these two drawers, I can't believe it. I gave them to my husband. But I got to be fair. So those are... They're actually empty right now. He hasn't put his stuff in here yet. So, but they've got, the drawers have this, this very velvet bottom. So I don't know what he's going to use it for. Probably his underwear. And that one's probably going to be his socks. And I think this one is cedar. Yeah. So that's the drawer space. Up at the top. Just a quick little tour. I love my lilies, you guys. Aren't they gorgeous up here? Just love them. So this little blue and white canister actually found two years ago at the Library of Congress. And I always toyed over what to use it for, but I found a way to use it. This is my little poof. And it is glitter. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's covered in glitter. It's a shimmer glitter. It's a shimmer glitter poof. That is part of the Carolina Herrera line. I've had it for years and it still has shimmer in it and it's soft and it's delicate and it's beautiful. So I said, I'll just put my little poof in there. Isn't that great? Love that. One of my little floral brooches. That's just an extra flower. Chapstick. You guys I actually just found this yesterday at Walmart when I was running errands. And this is the Revlon Kiss chapstick for three dollars berry and it's actually pretty good at walmart they have different flavors this is my swarovski pen i know i'm saying that wrong but i've actually had that for a couple of years this little gold tray i found at the goodwill like seven years ago for like just a few dollars and these are all the perfumes that i'm wearing now and i know everyone's probably thinking can't you just pick one no <laughs> i like perfume i like to smell good um, this is Lolita, and this is a really old scent, but I still love it. Very powdery. This is a grapefruit by Fresh. You can find this at Sephora. I love this for the summer. Of course, Chanel, Mademoiselle. We have Aaron Lauder's um, Lilac Path. This is one of my favorite Aaron Lauder scents. It's so great. And look at that beautiful top. She said she was inspired by some stones that she found on a trip. Um, that's what inspired the tops for her perfume line, which is great. I love Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, one of my favorites. This is a spray bottle that I found at the Goodwill some years back. Estee Lauder Pleasures. Um, the original Chanel Number no. 5. Love that. It actually should be in my drawer, but it smells good. And this is the new Chanel. I don't know how to say it, but I think it's La La New. I'm not sure, but I don't want to screw that up. Extra pearls here that I'm wearing, like my Chanel pearls, my Chanel bag that came with my um, Chanel earrings that I purchased from Trade C, my Chanel brooches on my Sephora napkin that I found at a Charleston boutique last year, my bowl of brooches. I love all my brooches. Very nice. This little thing was from Anthropology. I bought this years ago. And there was a candle in it, of course, but I took it out because it stunk. But I thought that I could still keep that for storage. I have one of my favorite scents burning for fresh cut lilacs from Bath and Body Works. Another one of my jars with more brooches. This jewelry box that I found at TJ Maxx, I think. 
maybe 12 years ago. I can't remember. But I paid $10 for this gorgeous thing. And in here I just have more of my earrings. Top part. And the bottom part has more vintage earrings. And these are my Chanel earrings that I got from Tradesy that came with that bag, which is great. So I also have my fossil watch in here, which I really need to start wearing again. But yeah, that is it of my dresser. I love it so much, you guys. It is great. And it just looks so pretty. Hello! But I love my dresser. It's great. So pretty, chic. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. One last look. We're also thinking about changing out the carpet. You see how it's wrinkling here? You know, when you build a home, there's just stuff you don't think about. <laughs> and so if my husband and I could redo things, we would have did laminate all over the house. It just would have been so much better than dealing with carpet. So, And that room there leads to our master bedroom. And there's my nightstand. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed my dresser tour. It's always fun doing things like that and sharing how you live and sharing furniture pieces. I feel like a little kid, um, especially with my dining room table and the dresser and Lauren's new bed. We also got my daughter a new queen size bed. Um, so it's always nice when you can slowly put your home together because it takes years to get your home to where it should be. I have friends who try to get everything now and I just tell them all the time, take your time. What are you in a hurry for? Take your time. That way you love your home and you can watch the process of your home becoming beautiful and you can watch how it's coming together and the fun part, what well, the fun about finding the beautiful pieces that you want. So just take your time putting your home together. It will not come together all at once. Um, this for me has been 16 years in the making. If you would have saw our first home, uh -uh, it did not speak Mrs. Shockley. <laughs> it did not. But I took my time in building our home to where it is, and I've enjoyed the journey. So before I leave, I did want to show my new Royal Albert's breakfast cup. Love, love, love. I do love it. Now, here's the small one that I have. See the difference in the size? I mean, that's massive compared to that. So I'm, these are the only two Royal Albert pieces that I have. I don't have any other pieces. So I'm going to try my take my time and gather um, the collection together for me. I don't want a really massive collection. Um, I just want, you know, the dinner plates. Um, I would like some more of the breakfast teacups, maybe three more. I just want four and maybe six of the dinner plates. Um, really, and it may be a teapot. I really don't want a bunch of pieces, just a few. Um, I mean, that's really it. Um, so that's it. Those two cups. Um, also my books from Amazon, they actually arrived here in Indy this weekend, but there's something going on with UPS. I don't know. So hopefully they'll be dropping off my books at the office tomorrow. I hope so. So maybe this upcoming Sunday, we can have a discussion about those books. I ordered the English etiquette book and the Ladies Like Us book by the Darling Academy. So hopefully we can have an etiquette discussion about some of the information in those books. That would be fun. And also my family and I are going to be traveling to Florida in another two weeks. We have always driven for our family trips. So this is the first time we're actually going to be on a plane together. And I'm so excited about it. But um, And this will be my daughter's first time on a plane. So we're looking forward to to her um, having this adventure. I've always wanted to get her on a plane so she can see that there's more to life than just Indiana. So we're looking forward to that. And um, I think that's about it. So um, there'll be a few new blog posts this week and um, just looking forward to getting those books and enjoying my new dresser. Of course, I don't want to end without a quote. I saw this on someone's Instagram account this week and it said, don't tell me how educated you are. Tell me how much you've traveled. And I know for me, I'm always fascinated by people who travel well and get to see how other cultures live. I'm always fascinated. I think last year, the year before, my daughter and I went to see the Nutcracker and we actually met someone who was from France. So it's so great to be able to meet people like that and actually see how life really is instead of 
Instagram photos or blog posts. So I just love to hear how other people are traveling and seeing the world. So I hope you all enjoyed this vlog today. And please subscribe if you are enjoying the content in my, in my channel. And I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.